Hey, what's up guys? Fully here. Thanks for watching my rambles video. So I just talk about anything that's happening in gaming and uh, movies and entertainment throughout the last week or so. Uh, today I'm just going to talk about what has gone through uh, the news and gaming that I like and what I've done. So first thing is the Sega Mega Drive Hub announcement. Now that was pretty cool. I don't know if you guys ch have checked it out or not, but if you haven't checked it out, then click on the link uh, in my comment section and uh, get some info on that. But the Sega Mega Drive Hub basically allows you to have this virtual 3D world. It's kind of like rem reminiscent of the 90s 3D world where you're in a room and you've got your, vir uh, your virtual Sega games there and you can click on it, bring it, put it into the uh, console and then play the game and this works through Steam, Steam Workshop and if you buy one game from the Sega Mega Drive uh, collection on, on, on uh, Steam then you have access to the hub so I'm very excited about it, it's out on the 28th of April and there's cool things that are also added features to it such as co-op play which is pretty cool as well um, there's uh, some of the games are obviously a bit more remastered and um, it's just exciting to see, I guess, as a retro fan, retro gaming fan, that we, we're getting some Sega, cool Sega stuff coming out. So I'm very excited for that. Um, so you've got to get a game first, and then you're able to have access to it. It's out on the 28th of April, so I'll be keen to check that out, definitely. So next is the Street Fighter V April update uh, news from Capcom, and that is uh, that Guile is going to be a new character, which we all kind of knew. And the addition of his special stage which is the air base uh, from Street Fighter 2 now that's a classic stage and I think that's a great addition I'm excited for both Kyle and the new stage as well as uh, the Capcom is gonna fix in a way some of the rage quitting uh, problems and that involves uh, stopping uh, disallowing the rage quitter to play for a certain amount of time and that's gonna hopefully discourage of the rage quitting problem that they have. So, Street Fighter V, April update. I don't know when it's going to be out. But, uh, I think it'll be very soon in the next couple of days because there's only five days left for April anyway. So, it's excited to check that out. Well, some other gaming news. Star Fox Zero has just recently been released and I've uh, read some of the reviews and it's not very positive. So, I wonder if you guys have played it. Tell me what you think about it. Um, now, some of the reviews have said that the controls are very gimmicky and so that's very worrying as well. But please let me know what you think about Star Fox Zero. Should I buy it? Should I not? Who knows? Should I listen to reviews? Who knows? Yeah. Some even more sad news is Tekken X Street Fighter is definitely on hold at the moment. The game is not really, really progressing any further in development. And it's more sounding more like it's going to be cancelled, I reckon. So what's happening is that they just, I guess the producers and the developers can't find a perfect unity for both franchises. It's probably hard to appease to both fans creating that video game um, and hard to, I guess, put Street Fighter in a way into the Tekken world or whatnot. So they're, they're having a bit of a struggle in that sense. But um, it's currently not in development anymore. It's kind of set. Now, what's very exciting is that Game of Thrones Season 6 is premiering very soon. I'm very excited about it. I love the Game of Thrones. been following it since it came out. So, you guys better tune in as well and watch it with me. I love Game of Thrones. In other news, I got a new game when I went to the market uh, for my Sega Mega Drive. And that is... Dun, dun, dun. It's a game called Super Hydlight. I think that's how you pronounce it. Anyway, this game is an RPG game that I have no idea about. I just went there and I saw it and I go, this is different. I want to buy it and see what it's like. And it uh, says that it's 1990 T&E soft. And I heard, I read some stuff about it and it said, uh, quality is okay, not that great. But it, it is a classic retro cup type of game. So it's uh, something that I'll try out and just, just, just to see. But definitely something that's cool to add to the collection. You can't just always get the popular games, right? What else has happened in my life? I just got myself a second-hand monitor from my nephew. I purchased it for a very, 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 very cheap price because he's getting himself a massive monitor. Anyway, my previous monitor was very small and something that um, I thought, uh, I need an upgrade anyway. So I got this new Samsung 27-inch 
monitor, but it's also got 3D com uh, functionality. Uh, it's two meters a second, so it's pretty, pretty, pretty good in terms of uh, its uh, practicality and functionality, uh, but it's very huge, so I just gotta get used to the huge Samsung screen. That's it for me guys, and uh, let me know if you got any other gaming news and stuff that you want to cover, you want to tell me about. Just put it in the comment section, and just make sure you keep on gaming on, watching all your favorite stuff. Alright, till then, see ya. Today I'm going to be uh, showing you the top 5 PSP live simulation games. So I hope you guys enjoy, and give a like if you enjoyed it so the number five is the sims still for the PSP so this is not the sims that you actually be expecting because this has nothing to do with families or marriage or all those kind of things no this is actually a game with a story this is the sims uh, meets story and that is pretty weird and that's why this game isn't uh, that uh, positive this game got a 48 on Metacritic which is very bad um, but that's just because the story is rather rather weird so the game is about you uh, playing and uh, you want to go to strange sound but there's something going on so uh, once you are getting on the road uh, you get cra crashed into a tank station and you want uh, your car to be fixed by a car panther, but that dude uh, uh, said he wants to fix your car. But then suddenly the whole building uh, um, just disappeared, and you get a call that you need to uh, go to somebody who knows more about it. And and a lot of weird things happening there. Yeah? Also aliens, uh, vampires, strange, all those kind of things. So if you are enjoying a little bit story um, then this game is pretty cool uh, it also got the live simulation elements and also a very new social system so in this game you have a kind of mini game that you need to press the buttons for um, like another for um, for another social thing start so here we see uh, the player like uh, socializing with Bella uh, one of the main characters in the game so um, it's like she you greet and then you need to press the buttons in order to uh, yeah go further and uh, the one thing that I pretty hate about this is that's so simple but it will get a, lo uh, a little bit different and uh, difficult in the, uh, when you're far in the game so if you enjoy live simulations and stories then this game is definitely something more for you so please check it out it's pretty cool so at number four we have the innocent life futuristic harvest moon so this game is about harvest moon it's actually um, the representation of harvest moon on the PSP uh, everything from Harvest Moon is in it. Uh, farming, life simulation, um, the graphics look a lot like Harvest, uh, Harvest Moon. So if you are into that franchise, then this is definitely something for you. This game uh, is a little bit different from the other one though, because it has a lot more of a weird, uh, another kind of story, a little bit PSP-like story. Because it's about um, not a human uh, person, no, it's about you, uh, our robot boy, coming from the, um, uh, I think from the space and the... Uh, uh, two um, people see you and then they adopt you and after that everything uh, yeah you will live in with them and then you need to um, farm and the cool thing about this is that uh, as a robot boy you have extra abilities you can uh, like um, you have always an, uh, you're always how do you call that um, always tools with you so and you can also it's a lot more futuristic you also have cars and not like those old world west things in Harvest Moon for the original franchise. So, hope you guys, if you enjoy it, you get it. So, Real Madrid uh, the game is number three. So, this game is about you um, getting invited to become the world star and become the new talent of Real Madrid. Because the coach, she uh, sees you, uh, saw you playing with your friend, and he thought about uh, joining the uh, first team. Which is something that would never happen in for everyone in their lives. <laughs> but yeah, this dude was lucky and then you will get to the field. And um, yeah, there are all kinds of mini games like this one. The fitness mini game, which uh, you need to button mash. And yeah, those mini games make it really cool. You can also date other girls in the game. And it has a lot of life simulation things in. So very cool if you like soccer and life simulation games. Get it. So at number two, we have a very weird Japanese game. This game is called Portable Island. And uh, this game allows you to have your own little resort or island. 
and you can do whatever you want and you, yes you can also uh, play the ukulele you will look like a complete retard but okay you can do that if you like and um, yeah so a very cool game you need to import it though and at number one we have the sims 2 castaway this game is one of the best life simulation games i've ever played because this game is like you need to survive on the island, you need to get resources, uh, tools and everything. But the crafting system is so cool because you can get farther, you can get new ingredients and it's just so much fun. So guys, if you enjoyed this live simulation top 5, then please like and comment. The reason why I created this top 5 is because my best video is a PSP game about free roaming games. This is a very long time ago, I think 4 years, that I had uh, another video of PSP. So hope you guys enjoyed. And if you enjoyed the video, then please like and comment, and maybe I will make a new PSP video very soon. Anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoy it, and have a great day. True Gamers, you out.